Today, I thought I'd take a look at package management on PFSense. I wanted to have a look at the available packages, what ones I use, why I use them, and just sort of go from there. So I am just getting used to having a new camera, so please bear with me. There might be some odd nuances that I, I'm working out. Just bear with me. It will get better as I learn how to use this camera better. So let's have a look at the packages and, and see what they are and, and which ones I use and, and what I use them for and what other ones I could use and what ones are, are very useful. So if you look on here, you will see that I've got my list of packages that I've installed. And some of them, to be honest with you, could probably just come out. But they're there. It's got a fairly decent sized SSD in this PFSense box. I'm not too worried about losing space. So the first one that I use is the Acme Certificate Management Environment. And that is based on Let's Encrypt. Now, Let's Encrypt, for anyone who doesn't know, is a free service that allows you to have SSL certificates for web servers, for email servers, for, for whatever you need them. And Acme is the client that goes off and renews them and gets them for you. And it can automate doing that. I use it on PFSense. Thankfully, there's that package for it and it's very helpful for that. I also use it on my production email server and web server and it runs beautifully. You can use um, wildcard SSL certs, which is what I generally use, except for on here. And it, like I say, it just generally works really, really well. Arpwatch, I'll be honest, I don't know why I installed that. I don't use it. Bandwidth D, I did use until one of the kids moved out because I was limiting, and you can do this in PFSense anyway, but it was limiting what his bandwidth was and it was really good for that. Bind, I used to use, not using anymore. I was using that for a local DNS server. Now I use Unbind, which is built in. And I've got Cron installed. Now, Cron is one of those tools that is built into FreeBSD. And it is built into PFSense. But for some reason, they've got it as a plugin. Anyway, I use that to, to reboot my PFSense box that four o'clock in the morning on a Sunday night. So it's nice and fresh every week. It's actually a Monday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning. Darkstat, I don't really use that. I don't really know why I installed that. Filer, I thought might come in useful. I've not used it yet, but it allows you to create and overwrite files in the GUI. Never used it. Free radius, I was gonna set up 2FA, but decided against it. And HA proxy is a load balancer. I don't really need that. I don't even know why I installed it. In fact, I'm going to uninstall that now. Just don't need it. This is just how easy it is to install and uninstall plugins. And there you go. Success. So let's go back to our installed plugins. Packages, they're not plugins. iPerf. For anyone that doesn't know, iPerf is a great tool for uh, testing your throughput on your network. And I, I use this at work and I when I had a job. <laughs> I use this in my professional life and sometimes use it on here. Uh, MailReport allows you to send reports from PFSense to your email address. It's very good at that. NetSNMP, so you can get um, nice graphs on an external host if you want. I, I don't use that. I'm not really sure why it's installed. I don't remember installing that. And NMAP, everybody knows NMAP. Great utility brilliant for exploring and security auditing fantastic for that uh, notes it's nice to put notes in there ntop ng so it's a replacement for ntop pf blocker now I've, I've done a video about pf blocker and i had a few people tell me that it wasn't a very good video you're probably right i don't particularly think many of my videos are that good it didn't go into depth. It didn't show you what it was. Maybe I'll revisit that. We'll see. It, it depends on whether I actually get time to do it and when I can figure out this camera. <laughs> RRD summary. So you, the, you have nice pretty graphs. You get a summary page. Um, service watchdog, which monitors for stop services and restarts them as necessary. 
it's great for that. So if you find that your uh, your DNS server on PFSense has stopped, it will restart it for you unless there's an issue. And then you'll get emails because of it, because you've set up your email notifications. Uh, Squid is a, a web proxy. I haven't set it up. I should. I used to use Squid all the time. It made browsing the web feel very, very snappy. Uh, status traffic totals. Yeah, it gives you uh, totals under the state status menu and then system patches but i i think the system patches is really only for netgate appliances which this is not this is my own appliance so let's have a quick look at the available packages so here we go we've got an um, apc upsd um, which is for network ups tool allows you to control your um, upc ups's UPS being uninterruptible power supply. I don't have one, so I haven't got it installed. ARPing broadcasts a who has ARP packet on the network and prints answers. Again, I, I don't use that. I don't really see the need for it. Avahi, is that how you say it? This is ba basically uh, MDNS, system which facilitates host and service discovery in local networks via MDNS, yeah. So it's bonjour. Okay, so this is for Apple networks. Uh, I don't really have any Apple devices it there's one or two but they're ipads and and work just as good with normal tcp so i don't bother with that the aws wizard now i've used this and it works very very well i did have an aps an aws um vpn don't ask me why i was, I was testing it out to see if i could get netflix content from various parts of the world and i'll, I'll be honest it worked very well it was pretty good. Maybe I'll do a video on that, actually. Um, backup tool to restore and backup files and directories. Cellular. Fairly self-explanatory if you've got a cellular network card in there. A, a little SIM card from a phone. No, that's not for SIM cards. That's for cellular cards. Okay. All right. FRR, a routing daemon. I don't use that. FTP client. Don't need that. HA proxy I just removed. IPsec profile wizard. I'm not running any VPNs. I don't really need to. Don't feel the need to. LADVD. Send and decode link layer advertisements. Yeah, it's not something I need. LCD display driver. Light squid. High performance web proxy. I think I'd just use the full version of squid. LLDPD. Support for uh, 802.1 AB link layer discovery protocol, not something I'm using. MTR, enhanced trace route replacement, normal trace route is fine. Uh, NetGate firmware, like I said, I'm not running a NetGate device. I'm going to skip some of these. So you've got NUT here, which is the network UPS tool monitoring un uninterruptible power supplies. Again, not using a UPS. You've got your VMware tools there for if you're using a, a VMware VM. More open VPN client export and imports. The import works very well because when you set up AWS, you can generate a uh, a client import file, and that works perfectly with that. PF Blocker NG talked about that one. Snort is something that I might look into. So it's IDS and IPS, intrusion detection and intrusion prevention. Now, it does take up some resources on your uh, your firewall but it, it's worth doing if you've got the hardware squid guard s tunnel sudo if you really want to go down that route but if you if people can get into it you've got a bigger problem anyway so suricata again more ids and ips syslog ng which is a replacement for normal syslog syslog on freebsd is fine anyway so don't really need to worry about that tail scale uh, a mesh vpn alternative based on WireGuard. I think there is a WireGuard. Yeah, there's a WireGuard client down there. A load of Zabbix stuff. Zeek, uh, Tink, TFTPD, Telegraph, Telegraph. Agent written in Go for collecting process and aggregating and writing metrics. Yeah, okay. So there's quite a few plugins, packages here that will expand your, the capabilities of your firewall. There we go. It's, I know this is a bit of a dry video, but, Sorry for that. But that uh, that is the expandability of PFSense, and it does help. It might be interesting to, to compare 
apples to apples and have a look at open senses uh, packages or plugins whatever they call them i'm not sure and, and see how they do it it might be worth doing that let me know down in the comments if that's something you want to know about not being much of a, an open sense user it, it would be a bit difficult for me to explain most of them but i would imagine that most of them translate to something from pf sense seeing as it's essentially a fork that's gone its own way and and developed on its own might be worth a look let me know let me drop a, a comment down below don't forget to do the usual jargon and all of that stuff all down there little bell blah de blah little bell all notifications it does help me out don't forget to give it a like as well if, if you find it useful there are some packages here that have made managing this thing so much more easy acme being one of them um don't forget this called server link down there and i'll see you next time toodle pip